reflections of a running man We gotta endorse till it's over How you trying to wake up when your mind stay polluted and you never sober Surrender yourself in darkness instead of trying to stay in the light This truth will hurt no matter how I say it, it won't sound polite The Bible don't say that, man, you gotta be making that up We'll pick up the book and then read I ain't got no reason to sit here and bluff nah. I'm just trying to bring you the truth And make sure I continue to be an example yes. I know it's hard to get a grip And when you get it, this truth is hard to handle I was cool for eight hours Working for eight hours That's really all I got out of school So you said that you feel like we modern day slaves Yeah, like But Rupert three and they Bring it down real quick Like, okay. for eight hours All my life, like, I'll be five mm -hmm. I'll be 18 mm -hmm. But if I'll be still they still get paid off of it. Mm -hmm. So even so, if you go to work, you still working to make yeah. off our labor, we working to make the white man even richer off of what we do. Yeah, but, we, but we slaves, but you say you feel like we still slaves, right? Because even school, you gotta pay for school. You gotta pay for everything, right? Read, read that, huh? Read that. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible says we are yet this day in our captivity. For thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Remember in the book of Deuteronomy, God said, if we didn't keep these laws and commandments, he would scatter us for reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. So the reason we still slave, even though they say you free, you ain't free, you can feel that every day. We paying by payments for the, the uh, transgressions of our ancestors. That's why we still over here. That's why we still slave. If you look at the US, U.S. Constitution, it'll tell you that you were slave. You ain't even considered human in the United States Constitution at all. Three fifths. They ain't never changed that. That's why every six years they have to do an amendment. So it, it's called the voters' right amendment. So you have the right to vote. But if you was a U.S. citizen, why they have to do it? Because they know you ain't citizen. They know that you other than you were a slave. So yeah, we still slave over here. Break down some more of that Deuteronomy 28 for him so he understand exactly why. Oh, Deuteronomy 28? The, oh, okay. All the curses. Deuteronomy, yep. go to the, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, start there. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt not, or shalt hearken diligently, diligently unto the voice of the Lord our God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Most High God intended us to be above all nations. We're not supposed to be serving. They're supposed to be serving us. People say, well, how come God created these other nations? He created them to serve you. But since we failed, now we serving them. Go to 15. Go to 15. 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So he, this was Moses talking to our people in the wilderness when we left out of Egypt. He gave us a set of laws, statutes, and commandments that we must follow. So if you follow these, you're going to be above all people on the face of the earth. But if you don't follow it, there's uh, consequences, there's curses that come with not following the law. So let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, go to Deuteronomy 28 and 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the city. In the city right here, we curse. You go to the country, you curse. No matter where you run, you can run, but you can't hide. You're still going to be cursed. Go to 25. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, chapter 28, verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. If you look on anywhere on the earth, we there. Small remnant of us, but we there because he scattered us to the four corners. He said, I said I was scattered, right? But we have no might to fight against our enemies. And when he said, we shall go one way against them and, and spray out seven ways from within them. For instance, back in the uh, Black Panther days, back in the Black Movement days, we all went in as one unit to go against our oppressors. But we started splitting up. Black Panthers, uh, Bloods, Crips. Bloods, Crips, all these. That's why we split up. We split up. All right, go to 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. In slavery. We had wives, right? 
but your slave master raped your wife. That's part of the curses. Go to 32. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look. And fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. In slavery and to the day, they took your kids and they sold them off to different plantations, right? Now, we're going to fast forward it today. Say somebody call and say, you doing something to your kids. Who's going to come to your house? DCF, right? They're going to come and they're going to take your kids and you have no might in your hand to stop them from doing it. That's part of the curses. Go to 37. Hey, so you gotta keep these laws, that's the commandments. One law, see, see our shirts, see everybody out here? That's the commandment. Okay, all right. We can open on camera. All right, huh? Yeah, that's easy. Israel, blow the trumpet. to the most high. All praise to the most high on God's Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day, not Sunday. Today is the seventh day of the week. If you look at your calendar, the calendar even states that, that today is God's Sabbath day. This Bible, yeah, roll up the window because this is not for you, Edomite. Matter of fact, bring out, bring out uh, Psalms 147 and 19. Praise the most high. Showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. The Most High God shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have no, not known them. Praise you, the Lord. The Most High God showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and commandments unto Israel. That's right. He has not dealt so with right. any nation. That's right. That's right. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, the Most High God. All praise to the Most High God on this Sabbath All day. All praise. All praise. Now we're finna get back to these curses. Go to Duke, back to Deuteronomy, all right? Right. Start at Deuteronomy 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto the, to all Israel. Not to the world. To all Israel. These are the words that Moses spoke to Israel when we were in the, in the wilderness when we left out of Egypt. Right, right. On this, on this side of Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran, Tapel, and Lebanon, and Hezroth and Dezab. So Moses was only speaking to the children of Israel. God only spoke to the children of Israel. The Most High God only gave us all statutes and commandments to the children of Israel. Right, right. But we are living amongst the lawless people, so we're being lawless just like these heathens that we're living amongst. Go ahead, that's right, that's right. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, no, some of them, with all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. 
So the Most High God said, if we keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, if we keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, he will set us on high above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right. But did we do that? Look at the condition of our people. Yeah. Matter of fact, Deuteronomy 28, 28. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Yeah. We can tell that we did not keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments because our people walk around lost, walk around blind, walk around like zombies. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and with blindness and an astonishment of heart. The Most High God smite our people with madness and with blindness and astonishment with heart. Because we don't know who we are. We call ourselves African Americans. Right. We call, we're not African, period. Give me uh, Exodus 11 7. We're not, we're not Africans, period. We are the only people that's one. This year, we African Americans. A couple years ago, we were Negroes. A couple years before that, we was colored. What is your nationality, black man? What nation do you come from? You got it up. You got it. Bring it up. The book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know that the Lord have put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The Most High God put a difference between us and them Africans. Because right. we ain't African, period. But your oppressor told you you was African. Right. So you ran with it instead of going to do the research. Go ahead, now. Bring, yeah, bring it out. But since we didn't keep God's laws, we are on the bottom. Now we finna teach, we finna give out one of these simple laws that's real easy to keep. Go ahead, huh? Right. Numbers 15, 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. No, speak to everybody. Unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments Bring throughout out. their generations. Bring it out. And that they put upon the fringe of, of the borders a ribbon of blue. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Roll the windows up. Get them up. And it shall be unto them for a fringe it, that ye be that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to to go whoring. The Most High God said, "Do not seek after your own eyes after which we used to go whoring." The Most High God called us whores, right. not physical whores, but spiritual whores. Right. You're not Pentecostal. You're not Catholic. You're not Baptist. Those are religions that your oppressor gave you, the Most High God gave us laws, not your, your oppressor gave you religion. Right! Right, right, right. Now, these are the things that happen when we transgress against God's laws. Go ahead, huh? But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High God said, if we as a people did not hearken unto his laws, statutes, and commandments, that all these curses, that all these curses will come against us. Let's see what some of those curses are. All right, go to 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. No so matter where you went, the, the city or the country, you cursed. Go ahead, huh? go to uh, 25. 28, verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go one way against them and flee seven ways before them. No matter how much protest, no matter how much picketing, no matter how much you come up against the old enemy, you have no power in your hands because the Most High God is not with us. Right. The Most High God is not right. fighting with right. us right. because we transgress his laws. Right. So you go get your AK-47, you get any weapon you want. Shalom, man. But you will not have any power to run up against your enemies. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, yeah.